you need to create, number three, a success mindset. This is probably the biggest key to your ability to keep on pushing and build momentum. It's the thing that separates the pushers from everyone else. It's not education, it's not background, it's mindset. So, this is a street I grew up on in Kingston. And when I was a teenager, my favorite hangout spot was this lamppost. <laughs> Didn't have an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you suppose I was doing at that lamppost? I was doing the D word. What's that? Huh? Drinking. No, man, I was dreaming. <laughs> no, I wasn't drinking, I wasn't dealing, I was dreaming. <laughs> I was enlarging my vision of what is possible. You see, from my vantage point at that lamppost, I had a really good view of forest hills lined with big, beautiful mansions. Not shacks that were bigger than mine, but houses that would look kind of like that. Actually, that look exactly like that. So imagine for a minute that this is your current and situation, environment, right? circumstances, at least figuratively. If you are a pusher, you're standing at that lamppost and you're looking up at forests and you're saying to yourself, you know, if they can do it, then I can do it. Pushers are always looking at other people's success as evidence, as proof positive that they can succeed in similar manners. You know, and as you, you're standing in an environment like that, it's certainly not giving you the success that you want. So, so how do you get it? How do you get those results? You create those results in your mind so that you, you develop this certainty that is yours. And, you know, I didn't describe it that way, but that's exactly what I was doing. Because when you have a success mindset, you learn to thrive on challenges. This is the other side of the fence. This is a house I actually grew up in. I took this picture a few years ago, right? But because I had developed that success mindset less than a year after living here, I was living there. That is the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, the British equivalent of West Point, the, the school of Winston Churchill, Field Marshal of Montgomery, King Hussein of Jordan. I mean, princes Harry and William graduated a few years ago, and I'm embarrassed to say that I still haven't called to congratulate. I've been a little busy. <laughs> <clears throat> but when you have a success mindset, you're able to thrive on challenges. You know, and I'm not a gambling man, but I'm willing to bet that it is because you have that same kind of mindset why, why as a company you've been able to grow by double digit every year even despite the recession, all right? So understand this, circumstances doesn't make the man. It merely reveals him to himself. So you go through these challenges, you overcome your obstacles and then you succeed, but guess what? Your success brings its own set of unique challenges. So in Bob's setting, you know, when you do all that hard work at the start to push the sled, to, to, to get from the starting blocks and you get over the hill, the brow of the hill, you start building up momentum, it's a whole new set of challenges. It's an exciting, exhilarating ride, but it can be scary as well. And I think we all have to deal with that when we start building momentum in our lives and in our businesses, right? And so you need a success mindset. You need the confidence and the courage and innovativeness to be able to deal with those challenges. 